Hey, what's going on you guys? It's your boy Redstone Nyx here. Welcome back to another mod showcase video. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you the Any Dimensions mod for 1.12. And what this mod basically allows you to do is to take any kind of block that is around me and you can use a certain um portal lighter and then you can travel to the dimension depending on which block you use. So basically you can use any block to travel to its dimension. Now, before I go into more detail with this, guys, as always, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe. And turn on notifications so you won't miss a video. Apart from that, guys, let's begin today's video. Okay, guys, so what I have in front of me are a bunch of portal frames of, of different kinds of blocks. And what I have in the chest are, like, are different corresponding portal activators for each one. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to showcase all of them because, look, these are all the portal activators for every single block in Minecraft. So, there's no way I'm going to be able to showcase all of them. Otherwise, this video would be extremely long. So, so I'm just going to showcase the ones that I have displayed over here. So, without further ado, let's begin. And I'm saving that special one over there for last. So, so first things first, we should probably gear up. And we're gonna get our our portal lighters. Okay, now that we've done that, now we're gonna go through each of these. So first off, we're we have the stone dimension. And all you gotta do is just get one of these from creative and then right click when you make this portal frame and just step through. And here we are ladies and gentlemen into the stone dimension. So basically this whole world is ma basically made out of stone. We got a couple pieces of TNT, lava, and we got some wither skeletons here apparently. Nice to see those guys here. And yeah, we got a couple of pieces. We got a couple of dirt. And and some and some ores. And yes, and I think in each dimension you still can find a lot of these ores. Just just like these, like stone, you can still mine ores. So it could be like a whole dimension worth of a mine shaft, really. Okay, so now that we've seen that, let's exit the portal and go through the next one next we got the redstone block portal and as you can already guess we're in a world full of redstone blocks and ooh, this looks really nice here so we got a big lava pit and we got quartz chisel quartz and a bunch of redstone lamps. So yeah, this could be a pretty good place for you to mine uh, redstone blocks and also a couple of qu quartz blocks too. You can really find some good stuff here. And also, I th and we got a couple. No, I thought that was glowstone for a second there, but no. It's just redstone lamps. But still, lots of good stuff you could find in this dimension. Okay, so now that we've gone over that, next, the Iron Dimension. Hmm. And we got a lot going on here. We got a bunch of uh, iron blocks, gravel, TNT. Yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely looks like I'm in some sort of like, I don't know, like, chunk like laboratory or something because iron blocks are the type of blocks that people would use to build in laboratories but this guy gives like a whole laboratory vibe. oh and looks like some tnt explode from the lava being too close and yeah that's pretty much the iron dimension we still got some wind skeletons i mean it's basically like it's like being in the nether again you would still find a couple of these guys hanging around Depends on where you land. Okay. Next. The gold dimension.
and yeah, this looks very, very shiny. We got still TNT and some more wither skeletons, I believe over there. That's more grab. Oh, nope, that's, yep, it's gravel. And, and basically, watch out because if TNT is too close to the too close to the lava, it could probably explode. Next, everyone's favorite block, the diamond dimension. Yes, the diamond dimension, where, where everyone can grab as many diamonds as they wish. Like, look at all this. I can literally just go into survival and mine up all the freaking diamonds I want. I'm gonna be so rich. If you get your hands on one of these, like if you, I think you would have to mine a lot of diamond ores to like make these into diamond block because you need nine diamonds to make a, a single diamond block. And then you would have to make, I think at least 12 or 12 or 14 or so to make the portal frame and then come here. Just, but hey, if you do that in survival, it will be worth the risk, or worth the trouble. Well worth it. Next, the Emerald Dimension. And we got several emeralds here. TNT, gravel, and we got more skelet- wither skeletons. And we got some random ones floating around here. And also, you would think you would think an emerald dimension where our villagers like like to trade for. You would think you would find one of those guys hanging around. I mean, that would be something because then you can literally trade infinitely with all these emeralds, or you can just make this near a village and then mine all the ones you wish to trade with. Okay, next. The red concrete dimension. And this is basically one of the new blocks that was added to this version, like 1.12 and above. Hmm. And we seem to be underground. Uh, let me see if I can break out of here. Hmm. It just keeps going. It's like we're trapped. I got an idea. Perhaps we need to blow up some... Maybe we need to blow up some space. Maybe that'll make an opening for us to see where I am. Okay, so there was a lot more TNT next to it than I thought. Oops, my bad. But hey, at least that cleared away for me to see more of it. Like, this is very red, I must say. So we got that, TNT, obviously, and we got some sand. Huh, inter a weird place to find in this dimension, but oh well, it is what it is, so I might just find my way back and move on. Okay, next we got the Lime Wool Dimension. And it's an entire world full of lime green wool. Which is very colorful and and apparently, instead of lava, there's water, because obviously, if there was lava, then the whole place would have catched on fire. So we got that, and black wool, and some more skeleton bones. But still, I'm surprised to see that there's a, some black wool in this dimension. I thought it'd be all... Oh, and apparently there's white, so apparently it's not just... Um, this kind, this single kind of wool here. There's like, more kinds. And, and again, guys, you do not want to set a flint and set any of these wool on fire. Otherwise, the whole dimension would have been caught up in flames. And now for the obsidian dimension. Okay, this I need to tell you the difference. So you need an obsidian portal activator. So this is the difference between the nether. So you need a flint and steel to make this, the nether portal. And when you right click in with the portal activator instead, it would take me to a dimension full of obsidian. So yeah, 
So you just want to make sure you know the difference between um you wanting to go to the nether and the obsidian dimension. So remember, up nether you need flint and steel. This dimension you need the portal activator for it. So let's say we got obsidian, TNT, and a bunch of magma blocks. Very terrifying indeed, because look at this. It's all dark and gritty. You can barely see anything. Okay, now we're going to move on to something more silly. Or actually, before we do that, I forgot about this one. This is where we go to the barrier block dimension. forgot that was there because it was invisible. You don't have it here. And just look at this, guys. Every single... I can literally see every single TNT that exists here. So it's literally like having x-ray... It's literally like having x-ray hacks that you can see every bit of this world. And I can even see the, the bedrock top and bottom just like that. And it's like I could fly all the way up there, no problem. Like, this is seriously a messed up world. With just barrier blocks that are, like, see-through. Okay, so that's that dimension. Now we'll move on to the melon dimension. And, a, and it's basically a dimension full of melons. And dirt and gravel. And apparently there's lava here, too. But still, I would say this is a very fruity, fruity-like dimension. So you can basically just have all the melons in the world and you'll never run out of food. Which is pretty nice, I would say. Okay, so... Now that we've seen that, and... Okay, you... Well, someone must have came back from the dimension with me. Okay... Oops, I may have forgotten to get the... The book... Bookshelf activator my bad but yeah we got that and we're in a whole dimension full of knowledge like look at all this knowledge guys all the knowledge you need in the world filled with water TNT and more wither skeletons but still with this you can pretty much have all the knowledge you want it's pretty lit I must say Okay, next, we got the sponge dimension, and it's basically a whole dimension full of sponge, and we got hmm, mossy cobblestone, and a couple of wet sponges, because cause as you guys know, how wet sponge works is that it can soak up water, basically, and it becomes wet sponge so when I pour water it's immediately gonna suck it all up just like that and which is probably I'm surprised that there's some actually the reason that there's lava here because if there was water then there'd be no water inside because the sponge would have sucked it all up again this is pretty interesting to find certain blocks in each dimension so let's exit that and move on Okay, what have we got next? Next is the note block dimension. Okay, this you need to shift and right click because when you right click him, it just makes no block noises, so keep that in mind. And now we're transported to a whole dimension full of note blocks and you can pretty much play a whole tune worth. I can pretty much run and just do this all day. Just make different several tunes as I go along. But we can't stay, we gotta keep moving. So, okay, so we're on the second to last one. This is the most dangerous dimension out of all of these things, the TNT dimension. And we're basically in a whole world full of TNT. Now this is very important, you guys. Do not repeat, do not use flit and steel and light up any single piece of TNT. Because if you light up just one piece of TNT, it's literally going to make the whole dimension explode. 
and it's gonna probably lag out your world so much that you will probably crash. So, here, heed my warning, do not set off TNT in this dimension. Okay, now let's move on. Okay, so that's pretty much most of the all of these block dimensions that I have here. And now we're gonna move on to this last one right here. And actually, this is made out of a weird block that was added to this thing called the interdimension, interdimensional matter. And to light this, you need the unknown portal activator. Now I haven't, t I don't, I don't know where this goes, so we're about to find out, guys. So ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Hmm. Where am I? And why are there a bunch of withers here? Where am I? I have no idea where I even am. Let me get some night vision so I can see. Yeah, I'm pretty much in case. Oh, and I went back. It's so black I can barely see. Okay, I need... I need some glowstone so I can see. Okay. Where even am I to begin with? I see, a, apparently I see a bunch of wither bars, but I don't see any withers. What is this stuff made out of? It's very, the TNT is barely doing any work. Just filled with, um, interdimensional matter. It's like I'm in an abyss. Clearly, don't see any withers. I can just hear them. I'm gonna light this whole place if I have to to find where am I. Am. And seriously, I don't. It's hard to tell where I am. Okay, this is where I was. So apparently there must be withers in this dimension, but I'm not gonna f stay here to find out. I'm getting out of here. Okay, back to the real, real world. Thank God. Okay, that is pretty much how the Any Dimensions mod works. And again, if you and also if you want to break the portal so you don't have to, all you gotta do is break one of them and the portal will disappear. Just like that. And yeah, and that's gonna wrap up for today's video, guys. If you guys enjoyed this mod showcase video and want to see more videos like this, make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe and turn on notifications so you won't miss a video. And also if you guys want to shout out, do all those things I just said and also comment down below the mod and the version you want to see next and you'll probably get a shout out in the next video. Apart from that guys, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.